we talk about intuition? I used to ignore the signs that my body would give me. You know, the gut reaction of, oh, this isn't right, or this feels uncomfortable. Maybe I need to get out of here. Um, but also the signs, this is right on, this is spot on, this is what I need to go after. I used to ignore that all the time. And then in 2003, when my youngest was born, within a couple of months, my gut, my intuition said, something is not right. I mean, we all dream about having healthy kids and you wish for it and you want to believe that everything is fine. But the reality, it wasn't. Um, but there was no evidence. There was no factual proof. We, did, we didn't have nothing to go on except that my intuition guided me to take care of my son very, very differently. Um, and it's because of that that he, I believe he's here today because I just trusted um, intuition to take care of him. For four years, we didn't know he had a rare genetic disorder. And for four years, we went to the doctors. We, um, he lived off a of Pedialyte um, and it, uh, that ended up saving his life because it would flush out his system with the ammonia that stayed in his body. But we took him to the doctors and we heard, oh, he's just dehydrated or, you know, he's just um, delayed or that kind of thing. I mean, he didn't speak and he didn't, um, yeah, speech. He wasn't speech therapy at the age of two and three because he just didn't develop like everybody else. And the age of four, we um, ended up at this local hospital and the doctor was like, yeah, something's not right. And it was sort of like the first time in four years where I felt like, oh, I'm being validated. And within two weeks of that, the um, specialist says, hey, your son has a rare genetic disorder. Um, and it only has three outcomes if untreated, brain damage, coma, or death. And it shook me to my core really, really bad. And it shifted my life and it created some chaos internally and outside, of course, because now we had a, this whole new thing to deal with. But it did something else. It absolutely confirmed to me that my intuition is spot on. That if I listen to my body, if I pay attention to how I react in different situations and moments and pay attention and listen and act on that instinct, that I'm going to be guided well. And it's gotten me out of situations that were really, really uncomfortable. And I was just like, I gotta go. Like, I, I just gotta go. And then maybe people will be looking at me going, what? That's crazy, right? But that happens. And I want you to listen to that because that's your body telling you something. Um, it's your intuition, your inner guidance system, just saying, hey, you're not listening. We're giving you these warning signs before something bad happens. But sometimes it's also when something good happens. Um, we call it maybe instead of red flags and intuition, it's the butterfly feelings we get. It's the same thing. It all goes into that. That tells us, yes, this is it. We're onto something. Follow that and trust that when you listen to your intuition, that things are going to work out exactly as they're meant to, exactly the way... Um, your path is guiding you to go. Um, 